Hi there. Um, I'm going to show you how to get an STL file from Autodesk Fusion 360 right now. Uh, Fusion 360 is pretty cool. Um, you, you could actually just print directly from this if you are at school. You could set up a print file right from this software. Uh, but anyways, let's say you got your part model. I just made a simple two by two inch cube. All right. So I messed with this a bit and I learned um, unlike Autodesk Inventor Professional, you can't can't change the um, the units of this in the export options. So it's just another example where Fusion 360 does things well, but Inventor on a PC is just a little more full featured. Um, the first thing you have to do is, even though you designed this in inches, right, and you probably did, just because conceptually that is what we understand better. You're actually going to change the units to millimeters before you do your export. So, so even though you design this in inches, if you go back to here to document settings and change it back to millimeters over here, all right, it doesn't change the size of this. If you go and look at your sketch you made, um, you'll see that the, it will just have converted the units to, from inches to millimeters. When I made it, this was inches. Now it converted that to 50.8 millimeters. All right, so maybe there's something to just designing in millimeters all the time. I don't know. That's a lot of my projects are set up to be inches. So now, what do we do? You go to Tools up here, Tools in the top tab. All right, and you go to Make. All right, 3D Print converts the selected body to a mesh body and outputs to STL or to a 3D print utility. Select the body. The output, set the mesh controls and specify the print utility to output to. All right, so you just hit that button, brings up these options over here. We have to select the body we want to print or export. Sometimes you have multiple bodies in a design. We're not there yet, but someday you might. So you click that, it turns blue. Um, you don't need to really do the preview mesh unless it's a really complicated thing. I, I selected high refinement for a square, it really doesn't matter. What it's doing is it takes your object and converts it into a number of polygons. Kind of like it would if you were playing a video game. The more polygons, the more clear the image would be. Same thing with an STL file. All right. If it's a curved shape, the more polygons, the smoother that shape's going to end up being. But the more information it requires, the more processing power it requires, the more data it requires, so to speak. The high refinement. You're going to uncheck. The default is for this to be checked. Send the 3D print utility. You're going to uncheck that. Um, refinement options, there's nothing to mess with there. Uh, don't bother. All right. Once you, once you have that unchecked, you've selected something. You turn it on high. Unselect 3D print utility. You hit OK. And it brings up this. And there it is. You save your STL file. There's no option to change anything here. So you hit save. You're good to go. Um, and then once you save it somewhere, then you can take it and put it uh, into, you know, you can put it into uh, the, the drive folder uh, that I shared with you, and I can print it here at school. Um, we'll communicate what color you want it in. You could even put the color you want it, or closest color. You know, I don't have every color, uh, but you can take a guess, and, or we can communicate how to do that um, through email. All right. So there you go, how to export your STL from Fusion 360. Have a good one.